The country is still in a crisis, and there's a dark winter still ahead. With a growing concern over the notion that chemical and biological weapons were unaccounted for and could potentially fall into the hands of terrorists, the Department of Defense wanted to test the nation's readiness for such an emergency. In June 2001, the DOD conducted a war game called Operation Dark Winter. Uh, Dark Winter was a, a major exercise that was uh, done prior to 9-11, earlier in 2001, to look at the effects of a biological terror event. And it was kind of a scary scenario. It, uh, it, we would lose a lot of people in, if a really effective bioterror event occurred. The simulation evaluated the government's ability to respond and communicate with the public. And the exercise even included mock news reports. Since the diagnosis of 20 smallpox cases in Oklahoma City 12 days ago, hundreds have now died, thousands have become infected. We had to you know, think about things like uh, you know, quarantines and martial law, you know, and things like that. Uh, all of a sudden, our system wasn't our system anymore because we had this terrible thing going on and we had to change. We had to you know, change the way we thought about things. We had to change the way the military interrelated with the, uh, the civilian world. And it was really an eye-opener. And the conclusion were tens of millions of deaths, no commerce between states, no airplane flying for six months, and war between Oklahoma and Texas. You say President-elect Biden is charging ahead, promising a bold new strategy to fight the virus, but warning of a dark winter. There's a need for bold action to fight this pandemic. We're still facing a very dark winter. We are in for a long, dark winter. We're about to go into a dark winter. A dark winter. So we, you know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That, you know, I'd say is, uh, will get attention this time. Mm -hmm.